Cześć, witam Cię bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku z The Wolf Among Us. Kontynuujemy od miejsca, w którym ostatnio zakończyliśmy. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's tak still early. Tak szczerze, to nie mam I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Zostawcie oczywiście łapkę, suba, dzwoneczek, komentarz. Wbijajcie też na streamy do linków w opisie. I wish there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Okay. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. No dobra. Co my tu mamy zrobić? Mamy przesłuchać najprawdopodobniej myśliwego. Bar Trip Trap Bronx. Okej. Okay.
What do you want, Sheriff? Official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Bigby. Fuck off. Good. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. Pobadajmy, co tu jest. Enough already. Just tell me where he is. I told you. I don't know. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Coś mi tu nie gra, nie? You got any change for this thing? Nope. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. A lot of stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Problem nie z rejżarem. <laughs> Ali, you're out of paper towels and
Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. Nie ma co, już mu raz wpierdol spuściliśmy, nie? Może na spokojnie tym razem. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. It's funny, the shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it, but she had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought you might give me a reward. She didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> not a good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, no. No, no, no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks bad. Fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Też mi się wydaje, że to nie jest on. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Aha, fajnie, że mam go pisgnąć tak czy siak. A nie, nie musiałem. Come on, 
You're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Ja pierdzielę. Co chłopno miota w ogóle. Had enough. Tak ogólnie to nawet nie chciałem go lać, nie? Whisky. Double. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No, ale to on zaczął. Hey, he started it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Gonimy tego. Myśliwy jest niewinny. Fuck, Ben! That's not necessary! Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Nie wiem, dla mnie jakoś myśliwy mnie przekonał, tak szczerze mówiąc. Moim zdaniem to nie był on. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Coś mi tu nie gra. 
Coś mi się wydaje, że Śnieżka chyba nie żyje. Tak myślałem. Ale to też nie był myśliwy. Okej, okay, no i tutaj mamy wybory gracza. Did you give fate your money? Czy dałeś jej kasę? 55% osób, które grały, nie dały jej kasę. Czy powiedziałeś bestii prawdę na temat beauty? Nie powiedziałem. No, większość powiedziała. Gdzie zdecydowałeś się pójść na początku? Większość poszła do żaby, czyli tak samo jak ja. Uh, what happened to Prince Lawrence? You didn't not preview Prince Lawrence that... Nie dowiedziałem się? Wydawało mi się, że, że dowiedziałem. Kto jest twoim podstawowym... Co? Tu są jacyś w ogóle goście trzej, których nigdy w życiu nie wiedziałem. Kogo aresztowałem? No tego gościa, okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. No i dobra, jesteśmy w drugim epizodzie, moi drodzy. Trochę nam się tu sprawy pokomplikowały, ale wiemy jedno. Na pewno nie jest to myśliwy, no i na pewno nie jest to... Nie, w sumie ten gościu, który przyszedł, to może być, albo jego brat, to może też być. No myśliwy jest na pewno niewinny, no to tu już w sumie sam zorientowałem się. Problemem jest to, że może to też być żaba. Mr. Wolf! You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> please. Please. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. Okay. Co tu się odwala? Aha. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Aha. Rozumiem. Czyli ta sprawa jest po prostu do wyjaśnienia, w, że tak powiem, w zakresie baśni, tak? Found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Też mi się tak w tej chwili już wydaje. Ogólnie... Ja chyba już wiem kto to jest, tak szczerze mówiąc. Jest to piękna od bestii. Tak mi się wydaje, że to ona coś ukrywa. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. <laughs> As a yebo. <laughs> no dobra. I w tym miejscu zakończymy sobie ten odcinek. Dziękuję Ci serdecznie za oglądanie. Pamiętaj oczywiście, żeby zostawić kciuka, suba, dzwoneczek. I zapraszam Cię na kolejny odcinek, hmm, jutro chyba o 15, jeśli się nie mylę, powinien być następny, chyba że jest weekend, no to 17 dzisiaj jeszcze kolejny odcinek. A na teraz to tyle, dzięki za oglądanie i do następnego odcinka. Cześć!